his onset, you're playing Artie and you've, you've got this sense of his relationship with his self-image, with a disability. And then offset, you're playing, you know, Kevin, who's getting back in his car and, you know, going um, home. And, and where, where did your self-image relate there? You know, was there, an, do, you, do you feel like there was a way of, of maybe a different understanding that you had with yourself growing into it? I mean, there's no right or wrong answer here. <laughs> <laughs> there was, it, it wasn't so much about the chair. It was more about um, confidence and mm. perspective of, I am someone, or especially back then, it was like just super self-deprecating, was quite shy yeah. and could convince myself that like, I, I don't know what I'm doing here. You know, I mean, it still happens, but already was, regardless of him being in a chair or not, he was so confident yeah, and like self-assured and he, in all those ways. Yeah. It was all the things that like, I wish I was in high school. And I mean, he said some suspect things over six seasons that I do not agree with. However, (laughs) his, his confidence of just like getting, like I quit choir. I didn't do theater. I was too like nervous and weirded out to do that. And here was this kid who would just, had, you know, seemingly was getting bullied every day by the other kids, but didn't care and was sort of like doing his thing. And that was admirable. And I remember, or like, like you said, leave, when you leave set and you get in your car and you go home, then you go back to Kevin, who's a little more unsure of himself. And then mm-hmm. I get to go to work and play this character who did not care about what anybody thought or what anybody said and would speak up for himself. And that was um, a very important lesson to learn for my personal life you know one of the things you said to me in the first redefine you that we had was that you felt like the the cast of of women on set sort of helped you find your voice and what I'm hearing from you now is not only did Artie help you find this sense of understanding with confidence and how that brings true in just a high school setting and just a probably a relationship setting but the people that were involved in your life and your journey in that period did as well is there a specific period that you felt like you started to recognize this shift within mm. who you were? I think other people did before I did. Oh, I, I got nicknamed like Kevin 2.0. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and then there was Kevin 3.0 and 4.0. Oh, um, where are we now? <laughs> 5.0. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think other people, because I was just sort of like a, is wet noodle a phrase I, I was just going with the flow didn't really speak up for myself didn't know how to mm. I felt nervous to do that and I would see you know the the women on set doing that and sticking up for each other and sticking up for us and it was absolutely formative and that was um, like just as the professional side of it was life-changing. That was life-changing because that was my college. Like you go to college, you yeah. learn about yourself, yeah. you, you grow up. And this was my, these are my college years and fully learned about myself, learned to stick up for myself like, like they did. And like Artie would more so than because you can, when you see it in real life and practicality, it's learning to say no to things like we've talked about, I think, and mm-hmm. learning to like, that's okay. And like, this isn't right for me, or actually let me advocate for myself in this situation, which I never would have done because I was always too scared. I was always like, I got the job, so I'm just going to be quiet now and not say anything. But it doesn't just relate to that. You learn to do that. You can apply that to every aspect of your life. And so, yes, I, I started speaking up for myself and people were like, okay, Kevin 2.0, because he did not care. He was letting people know. 